Developing tonight, an early morning rape reported at a SEPTA station, and the suspect is still on the loose tonight. Our Ellen Kaloje was there and has the latest on the investigation. A plea from police for the public's help to catch a man they say is armed and dangerous. Now, we talked to the victim's friends at the scene. They say she's out of the hospital and doing okay physically, but she's obviously traumatized by what happened. We want the public's help to make sure that we can find this male in that gray sweatshirt, in that, on that bike, with that description. We want him and we want to know who he is, where he is, and we're going to go out and, and, and get him. Philadelphia police say this man showed up at 4.30 this morning at the SEPTA station at Broad and Snyder, held a gun to a man and his girlfriend when she was trying on clothes and demanded her boyfriend watch while he raped her. I wouldn't expect anybody to intervene when a, when a gun is pointed at you. I mean, everybody's safety is paramount in this situation. Uh, it is a traumatic event that occurred down in that platform, and uh, it, it's concerning to us, and, and we want the public's help. Police say the man in his early 20s took off on a bike. He was wearing a gray NASA hooded sweatshirt, black pants, white sneakers, and a medical mask. People who take that subway every day cannot believe how dangerous things have gotten in their neighborhood. What goes through my mind is just tragic, you know, it's, it's sad that we have to go through this. You know, nobody's safe, you know, it, it's, it's still sad that you, you can't even step out your door. Fear, just constant fear. We have to live in constant fear, fear for our kids. No childhood. I've never seen nothing like it, and it's getting worse and worse and worse. All the way up to K&A, down to here, all the way so. I, I really don't know what to say, I'm speechless, you know what I mean? I just hope they catch him and he gets what he deserves. Now, police say if you know anything about this case, to please call 911. And they're also reminding everyone to play it safe and to be extra careful if you're taking public transportation and to be extra aware of your surroundings. Ellen Kaloje, Fox 29 News.